Hey, 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 what's up, champions? Gedevinas here. Hope you guys are doing fantastically well. Welcome to Financial Freedom TV. And today I wanted to talk about overthinking. So if you're watching a replay of this video, please do me a massive favor and stick hashtag replay into the comments. If you're brand new, if you're watching one of my videos for the first time, I'd really appreciate it if you said new in the comments as well. Would love to say hi to you and welcome you to the tribe. And if you get value from this video, you would do me a massive favor if you've shared this video or you tag somebody into the comments. So uh, the title of this video is what has overthinking already cost you? And one of the things that I keep noticing with people who are building their home-based business who are not getting as great results as they could do is that they often practice overthinking. <laughs> overthinking is like their favorite thing. They should subscribe to Overthinkism Anonymous, right? So what is overthinking? Overthinking is when you're thinking instead of taking the action. And there's so many people who I notice doing that. Instead of just simply doing the action, they start getting into this analysis paralysis where they go, well, what if this happens? But what if they don't like it? But what if that, or, or, what, what is it? And maybe I should do, I mean, and they just keep thinking and thinking and thinking and they never actually do the action. They keep procrastinating and procrastinating is not doing things that could be good for you, right? So there's so many people who keep overthinking and the best advice is do it imperfectly. Do it however way you can. And it's most of the time, it's not going to be perfect from the first go, right? Most of the time, it's not going to be the greatest thing when you first do it, right? But if you do it once, now you've learned. Like, like you can't lose, you understand that. You either win or you learn. So even if you mess up, even if something doesn't work out, you go, okay, I've learned a lesson. Next time I can do it better, right? And whether that's public speaking, whether that's videos, whether that's talking to strangers, whether that's building your dream or whatever it is, right? Just start doing. Less thinking, more doing. Because when you get yourself into this anxiety, into this, oh, what if this happens and what if that happens and what if this doesn't work out, etc., that means you're not in action. Because if you're in action, if you're doing call after call after call, message after message after message, live after live after, you don't have time when to doubt yourself. Well, you don't have time when to worry, when to panic and so on. You understand what I'm saying? So don't overthink. Does that mean you shouldn't be thinking? You shouldn't be analyzing? And Of course not. Like, like I practice meditation, I think, I ponder, I, you know, generate ideas, etc. But I also act, I also do. You know, I don't make it too complicated. I don't try to be perfect the first time around. And very often I'm not perfect, right? And it's okay, but at least I get it done. Done is better than perfect. So think about how, what has overthinking already cost you in your business? Maybe you already missed out on some opportunities because you were thinking too long. Maybe you already missed out on some great prospects because while you were thinking, somebody else recruited them. Maybe you already missed out on some customers because instead of you offering your, your, them your product, you kept thinking, what if they don't like it? What if I come across rude? What if they think I'm pushy? What if, and be, before you know it, they already bought it from somebody else. What has overthinking already cost you in your life? Because a lot of people, they miss loads of income. They miss loads of opportunities because they keep overthinking, because they keep thinking instead of doing. So my tip for you is to have a start catching yourself. Oops, I'm overthinking again. Again, this is a simple thing, but I've been thinking about it for two weeks, right? I need to just do it, right? So start becoming aware. Self-awareness can really help you. So start becoming aware of, oh, am I overthinking again? Am I doing that thing again? Let me snap out of it. Let me take action. So every time you catch yourself overthinking, do some activity. Take action and see what happens. Bit by bit, you can uh, unlearn this. You can remove this habit of overthinking and replace it with a new habit of taking action, of doing the thing, right? And this way, you'll see your results will blow up. You'll see you will get more team members. You will get more customers. Your business will start growing faster because you're taking the action instead of constantly overthinking it and trying to make it perfect. So that's the tip for today, my friends. Hope you get value. If you did, feel free to share it. Have a great rest of your evening and I'll see you at the top.
Bye for now.